Hi everyone, Riley here from Leader Pro, the number one software marketplace connecting buyers with sellers of software solutions instantly. Today we will cover how to use Mailjet for your campaign outreach. So when you do transactional emails, Mailjet is a pretty good tool for that. One thing about Mailjet that other platforms don't have is it has unlimited storage for contacts, so you can still design your transactional emails like a website, as you can see right here, and obviously personalization, you know, all those stats. So then this is the dashboard, but we will start this walkthrough from the campaign section. So for campaigns, you have the delivered, opened, etc. One advantage of Mailjet is that for each one, you are able to see the list of those who opened or clicked. So that allows you to do segmentation later on. So for example, you know, you can go to activities and you can see who it was delivered to, who opened it, who clicked, who unsubscribed, all of that stuff. And being able to see who unsubscribed and who marked you as spam is very important. So then you can put those contacts on your unsubscribe list. And those who unsubscribed, you can deal with however you prefer. And for those who have clicked, maybe you'll do a retargeting depending on the link that you provided in your email. And then obviously you have opened and delivered. And then email providers is another insight that can help. You can see here a majority of the contacts are using Gmail. And like I said before, Mailjet offers unlimited storage for contacts. So you can upload however many contacts you want and they don't charge extra whether you store 100 or 5 million or however many you want. And if you ever need to find a contact from the contact list, what you can do is go to all contacts and then you can go do a different type of search and you can search by email address or you can search different keywords or filter by domain. And they also have SMS functionality, but it is very transactional. So with SMS on Mailjet, there is no way for you to reply to SMS. So just know that is a limitation of Mailjet. And in Mailjet, they do have the option to verify the domain. And if you do end up using Mailjet, it's highly recommended that you authorize your email. So whenever you add the SPF or DKIM, they have Mailjet in their records. So it is unique to Mailjet. And another thing is automation. So automation is not a free feature, but before you pay for it, you should definitely ask the support team how they handle unsubscribers in automation. This is because depending on how you or your team handles replies, you know, if the way you handle replies is having anyone who replied back to you put on the unsubscriber list, make sure to ask the support team that if someone replies and you'd like to exclude them from future outreaches, if they will automatically be excluded before the next outreach or not. And in Mailjet, there's only one setting for exclusion, so it's all managed by one list. So if you'd like to have multiple campaigns with different exclusion lists, then you should probably have different accounts. This is just because, you know, this is the only one exclusion list for all of the campaigns. And so if you want to have multiple exclusion lists, then you should consider having multiple Mailjet accounts. Another thing to note is that Mailjet does have a pretty strict policy when it comes to sending emails. So they have a certain policy when it comes to bounce percentage. For example, if your bounce reaches a certain percentage, then they'll temporarily disable your account. And if that happens, the support team will ask for proof that these emails are opt-in and they really do care about proof that these emails are opt-in. So that is something to keep in mind if you do want to use Mailjet. Because if you can't prove that, then they will not reactivate your account and also make sure to have a sample of what you want to say to these contacts. For example, a sample template. So if you have any templates that sound like a cold outreach, Mailjet sometimes will look into that and they will use that as proof to disable your account. So, you know, if you're planning on using Mailjet for cold outreach, that probably isn't the best option for you because their policy states that they would like all contacts to be opt-in. And they do ask for proof of opt-in process if they detect high bounces or any cold outreach messages from your account, so keep that in mind. And then you can always upgrade, or if you want to downgrade your plan, they make it kind of difficult for you to spot. Currently, we're on the free one, but if you're on a paid account, then you can view plans, I believe, and there will be an option for you to select a free account. And as you can see, for any account, you can have unlimited contacts, but you won't have segmentation or automation. So if that's important to you, you might want to do a paid plan. And also for a free account, you have a limit of 200 per day, but that should be fine if you're not doing high volume because high volume does take a toll on deliverability. So if you're okay with keeping it under 200, then a free account will work great for you. But again, keep in mind that Mailjet really likes you to have opt-in contacts and not cold outreach. Anyways, those are just some things to keep in mind when using Mailjet. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Join Leader Pro today.